Tech Watch, a new report from the Anti-Defamation League says anti-Semitism within QAnon has intensified in recent months. The report found the instant messenger platform Telegram has enabled QAnon to spread anti-Semitism and conspiracies with very little fear of moderation from platform administrators. For more on this, I want to bring in CBSN tech reporter Dan Patterson. Dan, so good to see you this morning. You know, QAnon grew in popularity during the Trump presidency, but since President Biden took office, the group seemed to quiet down. But according to the recent report from the ADL, uh, is the complete opposite happening? Hi, good to see you. So QAnon evolved and it continues to evolve. Um, look, according to uh, some research on platforms like Telegram, uh, there are over 135,000 current active accounts. Uh, and yet some of the QAnon influencers are followed by uh, 300, 400,000 and more followers. That means that that the QAnon explicit community uh, is limited, but the number of followers attracted to these conspiracies is large and continues to grow. Um, another thing about Telegram is that it is so uh, lightly moderated that it has really allowed these influencers to uh, reach communities that are more receptive to their messages. So uh, where a lot of uh, the early influencers like Ghost Ezra uh, were kind of limited by algorithms on mainstream social media sites like Twitter and only acquired about 28, 29,000 followers, on Telegram they can reach a huge audience uh, and they can speak in more overtly racist and anti-Semitic tones. So they're kind of priming their audience to receive messages that are more extreme than they would elsewhere. You mentioned Ghost Ezra and Ghost Ezra is one of the most popular QAnon channels on Telegram. But can you walk us through what it is and its rise in popularity? Yeah, so uh, if you were a little bit confused by all the jargon and names here, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> part of QAnon and these online conspiracies is designed to be confusing. This particular influencer um, was fairly active on Twitter until the 8th of January when Twitter banned not just Ghost Ezra, but uh, subsequent followers and, and many of the accounts or the persona's peers. Two days later, uh, Ghost Ezra joined Telegram and uh, in under six months acquired 300,000, more than 300,000 followers. Um, this account posted, uh, in addition to anti-Semitic memes, a number of uh, anti-vaccination and, and COVID-19 conspiracies. Uh, the language uh, approximated violence. It came very close to violence uh, and certainly pushed a number of other pretty toxic and untrue conspiracies. Even this morning, I checked the account and uh, Ghost Ezra was still posting about um, uh, uh, disinformation about the Maricopa County elections. Uh, so this account, although it's not the largest on Telegram, it is one of the largest QAnon influencer accounts on Telegram uh, and continues to push conspiracy theories that uh, have active followers uh, reading and resharing the conspiracies. It's hard to talk about this because you don't want to bring attention to conspiracies, but at the same time, it's important yeah. for us to be aware of them. Uh, so what stuck out most to you from the report about these conspiracy theories from the ADL? Well, uh, although it is easy to kind of look at a lot of this stuff, at least on the surface, and go, that seems really incomprehensible, under the surface there are dog whistles that are designed to target particular audiences. And uh, look, one line really stuck out uh, in particular, and that was um, backed up by their researchers, who I, ADL researchers, who I also spoke with. And the line was, Ghost Ezra is easily the biggest pro-Hitler voice on Telegram and the single largest QAnon influencer on the platform. Um, and the researcher also added, Telegram has become, <clears throat> excuse me, become a preferred platform for QAnon because it allows leaders to directly control uh, channels without fear of moderation from platform uh, in administrators, unlike mainstream sites like Twitter or Facebook. All right, Dan Patterson, thank you so much. Good to see you.
We should note that Telegram did not respond to CBS News' requests for comment. You can read Dan's full report right now on CBSNews.com.